I did the SPAT program this time last year, so I was sitting where you're sitting. And I just finished my five year degree and I never expected to say to people that I'm an entrepreneur. I had very different ideas of what uni was about and what my life after university was going to be about. So winning the ideas challenge was something that I never expected. That was where my journey with Spark and entrepreneurship actually began. Um, the really amazing thing about Spark is that they give you the guidance that you need. So I come from a law and sociology background. Um, I thought at the time that I wasn't going to win anything because I didn't do business. So don't worry, you don't have to be a business student to do well in this competition. Start with your strengths. So for me, doing sociology was, I guess, a passion where I wanted to observe society and look at what problems there were out there and find solutions. So a business idea really starts with a problem that you want to solve. So after the ideas challenge, again, I didn't expect to pursue the idea. The idea that I had at the time was this generation gap that I've identified. So who uses social media here? Everyone pretty much, right? So if you think about what you're doing with social media, you're leaving your stories up on there, your legacy, your children who go on your Facebook to read about your life stories. But if we think about you know, senior citizens and you know, generations from on our parents or grandparents level, they might not be using technology and they might not think of technology as a way to preserve their life stories to pass down. So we identified this problem and at the time the idea was about using student volunteers um, and connecting them with seniors to elevate their stories. So again, didn't expect to pursue this idea, went to the judges feedback session and was just blown away by I guess the amount of potential that they saw in the idea that I couldn't see myself. So at that point I decided to go forward with it. It really helps if you have a passion for your idea. So what resonated with myself and my team members was the fact that we all experienced a loss of a loved one and not having a record of their life to hold on to, to pass on. And we also wanted to be change agents. We wanted to channel the entrepreneurial spirit to create social impact. So that was some of our motivators. From the ideas challenge, to the 100k challenge is a big step up. So to give you guys an idea of the amount of work that we put into our 100k proposal, um, we made about 35 to 40 cold calls, set up about six meetings with retirement care facilities, did a month long trial with one particular retirement village, talked to a kamatua at a marae, and also held a community event in the space of a month. But I think this was this primary market research was really crucial for us to get into the finals because we were able to demonstrate with hard evidence that yes, there is a social problem that we've identified and yes, there is a market that wants to use our service and therefore yes, there's a big potential for this to be a business. So going into the finals, we went through the grueling workshops week by week. And let me tell you, it was so intense and our team was pushed to the limit multiple times. But I think it was really necessary um, you know, to really help us understand the business fundamentals. So as um, the other speakers have already mentioned, you will be allocated with mentors if you get through to the 100K challenge. And honestly, they are the most amazing people that you can have um, to consult you on what you're doing. And multiple times we credit our mentors for really um, helping us with some of the breakthroughs. And they've really condensed down into the guiding principles of, um, you know, of how we go about starting our business. So I read an article the other day about entrepreneurship. And it said that most startups fail because they don't focus. And when I read that, it really spoke to me and it spoke to my Spark experience. Because if I had to summarize it, I would say that Spark gave me the tools and the guiding principles 
so that I know how to focus my business idea. I know how to refine it and turn it into a business plan. So it was really a launch pad, and it is called launch pad for a reason. Because at the end of my Spark experience, the business model that we came up with was not ready. It was not quite viable enough. I, we couldn't have used that and taken it to market. We would have totally failed. But that's the great thing about business is you keep learning and observing and you pivot to where the opportunity is. So where are we now? After Spark, we had the opportunity to do the Microsoft Magic Cup um, and we came second place in that competition and that forced us to build a prototype. So again, we pivoted and we are now a tech startup which is using an application cloud-based software to create digital heirlooms for families to pass down the generations. So Spark, again, comes back into the picture every time we have a meeting um, because we hash out those guiding principles again and again and again. And every time we hit that barrier, guys, what are, our, what are our guiding principles? And those really help us to move forward. So in summary, what can Spark give you guys? Number one, it will teach you how to build a business model by chucking away all of your bad assumptions. So having bad assumptions is not actually a bad thing because you're using that later on to say, okay, that's a mistake that we should make again and that should be one of our guiding principles. So an example I can give from my experience is I mentioned we were going to use student volunteers. That wasn't going to be a sustainable um, thing for us. So therefore we've moved into the tech and software space. So second thing that Spark can give you, the way that I see, you know, coming up with a business idea and doing a startup is you have a box of tools and you need to use these tools strategically to build something. And I can guarantee you some of the tools that Spark will give you are things that you can't acquire by reading a book or going to class. And lastly, Spark going through the program will develop you. It will push you outside of your comfort zone multiple times and you will become more tenacious more courageous, more curious and hungry, and maybe like me, you'll get bitten by the entrepreneurial bug.